Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Goldcrest Valley V219. We got it folks. We have the contract and we're going to be getting paid $75,000 to do this contract. Now y'all probably wondering right, well, what contract are you talking about? And, and we can't hit the train either. Why am I stuck on? This train's kind of slowing me down a little bit. We are... Everything... I'm going to show on the map here. First of all, how y'all doing, folks? Y'all doing all right? And welcome to the new ones. This is your host, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks... Today we're going to be just strictly logging. Uh, a couple things I have done. Uh, the new Midwest Geo I added was well, not the new one. It's this one we use on Midwest. And I think we're using it on Long Oak also. These trees are way bigger. Way bigger than anything we ever done so far. So we gotta be careful not to get hurt. But anyway, between the railroad track and the highway, all the way to the sawmill, we have to cut. I've been trying to keep these as straight as possible, but this head on this cutter is trying to turn everything and yeah, especially when you get to the last log, the tip of the tree, this one's a turn. You can probably see it right here. So it bunches down and just stays up in the air. Then it tries to turn. It's kind of good in a way, but it wants to do that right there. Yeah. Get over. Get over where we belong. So I don't know what, if it's getting us troubles or not. Speaking of troubles, let me park this here. We gotta go to the market shop. And I got a uh, one thousand eight hundred seventy-one dollars. I done. Uh, did I get paid for those yet? Yes, folks. Looks like I already accepted them. It was a covating contract on field 20 and 19 and I took it so the rest of these are eh, not really worth it I, I do want to do the fertilizing on field 4 because that's quite a bit of money um, we still at $295,000 it's just typically the next day in game so uh, yeah but we get to make all the money off the logs and let me fly my drone up here. We make all the money off the trees. And we also got to cut these few here. Just the uh, the big ones, like the little baby ones right up here. They want to leave those. But we got to cut in between the highway and railroad from there to here. And then we jump across. We're right there where the train's at. We got all those right there. Just the big ones. They want to leave the baby ones. So I'm like, okie dokie. Means I have a job later on. But all that to right there. We stop right here. Last tree. And uh, yeah, we got 75000 for doing that. Not counting what we make off the wood. And. We may have another contract, but I'm going to keep it on the down low for now. Because he's he's not for sure. But we may be doing some something over in this area. But I, I'm not saying what. Could be the biogas, could be the dam over here, could be the field right up there. So yeah, just going to keep it on the low side for now. All right, drone back down. Um, we got to go to the uh, 
market shop so let's get over there and uh no i don't want to reset i want to yeah visit they said our trailer cannot be fixed we got a crack couple cracks and i guess it's from me and um it's somewhere wrong in here uh we keep using it this this is going to separate from the fifth wheel to the back we put a lot of good wood on that uh, we're going we're going to sell it for 17 733 uh, we're going we're going to get a, another log trailer uh, i gotta go to my ipad and, and order it and they'll bring it around everything so actually let's step in here to to john and and see what we're talking about here we gotta go trailers and we gotta go over to do we see forestry oh i need to pick up some paint too while i'm here and forestry forestry oh right here and let's scroll on over is it oh it's not that i got some nice stuff in here um yeah, we we can see eight and eight sixteen. We usually cut our logs in eight meters, so I just think that's too long. But I I don't know. Let's let's look at it because I want a good one. Um, trailer hitch. Oh, we we need a trailer hitch for sure. We'll set up wide tires. Let's go with wide tires. I'm gonna bring us to thirty-five thousand. But I think the way these are made, we can we can put a lot of logs on this, folks. And I'm pretty sure this is an auto load trailer. I know this one is, but don't say it. Oh, I'm trying to slide it over. See that one says auto load. Um. Yeah, let me just stick with this and let's look at this one real quick. See, it's the same way. It's got we can extend it out, and it does have a track. We can get two of these actually. Thirty. I'm kind of shy. Me go borrow from the bank. We're also probably going to be getting something else too, folks. So um, let me go borrow some money, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, folks. I went ahead and bought the 15 meter one because the other one was about as long as the dolly behind extra long and I, we just can't make these turns with that so did you see this green area right here you can hit the uh, no the the star on the keypad on the keyboard here hides that and the period button on the keyboard moves it from front to back. But it says max 7.5 meter. But uh, I don't know if you can change that or what. But every time I hit the keypad enter button, it turns truck on off. So that may have to be changed. So, yeah. Oh, turn signal. Wrong one. But yeah, that's what we're going to do with this, uh, the dolly. Well, I got it just so we can haul, haul this trailer with us when it's empty and have the, uh, the, the Atachi on the loader because that trailer has hoses on it too. So, I mean, a uh, hitch on it too. So I will meet y'all back at the, uh, the, construction site well i say construction site you know what i mean contract site Alrighty. okay so this is what happens when you uh load both piles they tend to stack kind of wrong but I, I think we can still make it i can't get it to stop switching back and forth well it'll, it'll load one log in the front and then load a log in the back I mean, switches to the back and starts loading the back. So, 
I don't know, maybe we load the back first and then put like six meters in the front or something. I like it where it hangs out the back, but I can't get it to stop that. So I'm doing it myself now, but once you load one in the front, it just automatically switches to the back like that and starts loading it. So anyway, we got to get busy on this contract. It's already one o'clock, eight minutes after one. I'm going to back this up just a little bit so we don't hit it. And uh, let me get some of these logs cut and uh, I'll show you me to load them up. So, yeah, be, be back in a minute, folks. I'm going to take down some trees. All right, I'm trying to load up some of these others. The Hitachi just can't handle these bigger ones. That's not going to reach from there. All right. Please don't. Oh, oh, oh. I hit it. I hit it. My bad. Hope ain't no cars coming because. Oh, look at it. It loaded too. And didn't switch. I feel bad now. Which I stopped it from switching on the other truck. So I don't know how I'd. I really did that. I just guess I kept on loading up here and it got the hint. I, I have no idea. But I'm just going to hit B. See, it switches to the back. Hit the period button. Hit B again. That loaded one. Let me see. It switches to the back. I don't want hogs back there. I got one that's really got me messed up. Um, I hate to be unrealistic, but that's going to really mess the load up if I don't fix it and if I can't hop up there. It's getting weird. The jumping ain't like it used to be. It's like it won't run and jump no more. Now, if I cut these seven meters, this wouldn't be a problem, but yeah, it's kind of a problem now. Of course, it might be that and hanging out just a little bit. Do that. Uh, if the logs was turned like these are on the ground, it would pick them up better. But since it's not, that's why it's not really wanting to pick them up. Yeah, it's going to be a messed up load. Oh, well, come on, pick up what you can. All right, I'm going to go sell this. And we're going to call it an episode, folks. As you can see, I got 77504 That's because I borrowed. A while ago, while I was up there, I went ahead and borrowed an extra amount of money. Because I kind of figured that Atachi would not handle these bigger ones and we are getting in bigger projects um not only we got one but we got two more episodes uh, not episodes contracts we got one over on this side behind us i'll just go ahead and tell you it's something about the dam i don't know how much it is but i only had to cut a couple of trees for a hundred thousand dollars yeah that that's like insane so, the guy also said it's kind of dangerous, so, I said, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, I just, I got two more contracts I got to take care of before I get to it. And one of them's up here at the hotel, right, right up right up there. We had to take out just a couple of trees. I don't know how much we're going to charge on that. And, um, but, yeah, they, I got to pick up some paint. What's up? Yeah, I already picked the paint up. Uh, they are wanting to certain trees cut and only certain trees. So, but there's our dolly apart. See, we can put it behind the low loader there to pull this trailer when it's empty to help on our transports. All right, please sell all at one time. Now, I can unload these all right here. 
no, let's do that. Let's check out the unloading thing on this. I know I said I wasn't going to go with a auto load trailer, but it makes it really, really easy, folks. And uh, later on, we'll we'll get into some loading techniques. We don't have to use the auto loader, you know. And plus, we can use the uh, something to unload them. All right, now I should be right there. Let's bring up that show unloading position is the slash key. Oh, I want it on the other side. Okay, right there. And now, let's see, let me hop out and turn that back on because I need my hood because I'm not too familiar. It should be bold additional forks. No. What unloads? Um, unload position. Resize unload position. Resize. Ah, okay. That 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 is nice. I wonder if you can do that on the loading position. <laughs> um. Um. Uh, don't see. Is it Z? B? That's auto load. Oh, folks, I'm at a lost. I don't see where it says unload. The V? That just moves the forks. Um, hold on a minute. <laughs> I, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm gonna find the unloading button. All right, folks, I can't seem to find anything that helps unload so and I can't get my regular thing back up either so hmm it's got to have an unload was I on the right thing oh I switched off but I still don't see it shows unloading position I don't see where it says anything about unloading. So, I have no idea, folks. I, I really don't. Um, I'll try to look it up. This is probably going to be my last episode for today or something. I, I don't know. Um, I'm on a... Well, I was going to tell y'all. Hang on. Let's let's go ahead. We're going to unload. Yay! We unloaded $32,567 for that load. Brings us to one ten. Now, what I'm wanting to get is in here. And it's $250,000. And that's just for the machine. And it's you can do several things with it. It's mainly for loading. Um, but I also want to get a, a saw for it too. And, uh, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. But I don't know if I want to get the dangle. Or that. The dangle probably would be better. But yeah, I, that's what I'm wanting to get. But it's that's 65000 I would have to probably lease the oven. But if I do all that, yeah, I already got a big loan. I, my loan is, as you can see, my loan is 400000 If I get enough to buy that, let's just go ahead and See what we can borrow. We might get some, uh, since we're going to do forestry a lot. It's 250000 uh, And plus 65, so 50 be 3. And another 6, I see. 50 be 15, so 315000 Let's go 320. And uh, let's, let's, 
of course that's not everything I'm wanting that will buy this machine which we're going to go ahead and do done 250,000 and we're going to go ahead and get we're going to get the fixed head that way we can stack it where we want to yeah there's a fixed head okay let's go up here I just left my truck running there's the machine FDR logging tracked Oh, well, I, I look kind of sexy setting up in there. Oh, yeah. Um, one. There's one set of lights. I turned all of them on, but none at the back. Okay, no problem. Ooh, this also comes out the back. This thing is tall. I didn't check to see how much horsepower it had, but it's got to be better. There's the fixed head for it. I wish I had the controllers for this. It would make it so much more easier. And see, folks, that's how we would use it right there. And we can actually go about right there. So I think this is going to work a lot better. I just got to get the semi truck and get it tracked up there. And we'll be using this on the next episode. Here on Go Crash Valley V2. John Deere. 909M, folks. Awesome. How much horsepower does this thing have? Ooh, only one. Um, they all got the same horsepower. 286. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, folks. I hate to leave you on that, but... Yeah, it looks like a screenshot. I'm going to figure out the truck, and uh, we're going to, like I said, get this moved over there. we got two more contracts after we finish this one, so hopefully we can pay that money back. Now we'll have uh, Colin, Mr. Yankee, Christy, uh, Anna, somebody doing some contracts to help make money. Folks, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see you. Y'all later. Bye.